Governor Romney, as you know, I think he said this would be his first day as president, said he would list China as a currency manipulator and that he would assess duties on Chinese imports if they didn't float their currency. And this is something a bill went through Congress essentially, or going through Senate, I think it passed the Senate, essentially saying the same thing, uh, 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 proposing to impose tariffs on China over exchange rate issues. I'm wondering, what do you think of such policies? And just broadly speaking, given your experience in China, what are the promise and maybe possible perils of, of strong economic growth in China for the US? Well, first of all, let's call it what it is, is pandering. You know, it sounds good and you can get an applause out of the group when you say, we're going to slap a tariff on China, we're going to go to war with China. The reality is far different. So you're going to take it to the WTO. What are you going to do with the WTO? There's no provision for a, 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 a case on currency. And second of all, you start, you know, slapping on a tariff and the Chinese are going to turn around and they're going to say, remember the quantitative easing programs, part one and part two? You did the same thing. So here's a tariff on you guys. Now, why do I say this? Be, because I lived through the 421 tires dumping case in China about three years ago, and I thought this is not a good thing, but you know, the president has to do what he wants to do. Uh, and so what happens after the penalty was assessed at, I don't know, can't remember what it was, 1.7 or 2 billion bucks. The Chinese came up with a similar, analogously valued <laughs> countermeasure toward our chicken parts completely disrupting our, our, our ag sector, our poultry producers. And that's just the way the game is played these days. So recognize the reality. And we're back to the United States and China sitting down in a negotiation and grinding it out. Because it isn't a unidimensional relationship. It isn't just about currency. You can't just hit them on currency and expect that you know, to, to, to be it. You're, it's three-dimensional chess. I mean, you've got North Korea, you've got weaponization in, in, in Iran, you've got the Pakistan element, you've got South China Sea, you've got global economic rebalancing, you've got uh, uh, new energy technologies, you've got a whole lot of things that you're trying to carve into a broad-based dialogue with the Chinese. So I say, like it or not, you're left with the reality that you've got to sit down and grind it out at the negotiating table. 